So, what is happening over here? What is wrong with this island? Where have all the sheep all gone? You're looking at cracked sand. You're looking at a spreading block of dehydration seen in Extra Biomes 2.7. I have spent a fair amount of this last week working with Scott and Anand the Mouse, coming up with improvements for cracked sand to make it happier on multiplayer servers. What you're looking at here is just about 24 hours of operation starting from a, just a single block of, of cracked sand that was spreading. And it hasn't gone over the whole island yet. Truly not even close. This is actually a relatively slower form of spread than it originally had, but it's still too much to leave on a 24-7 multiplayer server. It's the sort of thing that would work just fine on a single-player server, and in fact I have spent a fair amount of time playing with it on a single-player server. And I could actually tell you it was fun playing with it, but it's not the sort of thing that you want to make an all-consuming aspect of your game. So one of the challenges was to design it so that it would not overwhelm a server, that there would be a reason for wanting it, that it wouldn't be something you just wanted to eradicate, that it had a use. And we came up with some ideas, Anon, the mouse, and myself. But it will, among other things, collapse single block holes because the sand can fall and this can break holes in large shout, large thin roofs this can mess up staircases expose hidden wiring and generally just make a mess of your island. So yeah, we're going to be making some changes to it to make it something that you actually want, will go looking for, have a desire for, and can't be used to commit server griefing. That's the goal and I think we've got a good design. And if Scott says it's something he can implement it, you should be seeing it in about two weeks from Extra Biomes. In the meantime, and welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode of Key Bounce Plays Minecraft. And this is a construction episode. So the goal of today is to build a new elevator in the base. So a moment while we head over to the base and I show you what's going on. Greetings everybody. This is the 125 main world and this is almost certainly going to be the last episode in 125 by the way. We are waiting for some mods to update to 132 and they are updating real soon now. Anyways, this is the current staircase. It is very slow to go up and the fastest way that I have found is moving sideways while spinning in place. These water drops over here, I never did show you guys the attic, did I? The water drop over here, in theory, is safe. It's a way to move from floor to floor by pressing a button and letting pistons push you around. In theory, it is safe. In practice, every one of us has managed to hurt ourselves on it at least once let alone finding that it won't actually work depending on where you're standing in the block.
So the problem with the current system is simply that it takes too long to, it's too slow to go up. It's too dangerous to go down from the attic, which you've never seen falling down and you can, we've all managed to hurt ourselves at least once. So it just needs to be replaced. The goal is to use either a minecart elevator or a boat elevator or something on the way up. And initially I'm looking at a water break fall on the way down and a water break fall basically, well, I'll show you a, a simple version of it right here. In the storage rooms, this was the primary access originally built by Alex. You fall down, you land in water. Ideally, I'd like the water to be above it and to have it just fall down. So for example, if I were to have built this, I would have water up here, ladders here, so it would fall through water, land on the floor, and come out. And that works and works fine for the storage room where you've got a two-wide, op a two-floor opening. The problem that we're looking at is that these big floors over here, there's a five floor, well one, in this room it's one, two, three, four, yeah, it's five floors. Five meters tall on all of these floors. Whether it's the common room, the utilities floor, the kitchen floor, the mine shaft, they're all five meters tall. If you hide a water break in the surface, I mean in the roof, and then fall five meters, you're going to get hurt. So we need to figure out some way to get a high speed up and down. And again, the two choices I'm looking at are minecart elevators and boat elevators. Boat elevators are cheaper if they can be made to work. In 125, boats are impossible. In 132, there may be hope, and I'm going to be testing this on a 132 server in a moment. And then on the way down, we need some way to do braking, given that we can't fall five meters um, from a water break over here. So let's take a look at uh, the 132 creative server, and let's do some testing. Welcome to the creative server. And do not pay attention to the levels. This is a creative server, and I was playing around with an experience an enchanting mod earlier this afternoon. So, as I said, this staircase is the one which is going to get pulled out and replaced. The current staircase is a 3x3, three three, and my budget is a 5x5 five five space. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I have a 5x5 five five running from here. I don't like leaving creative on because of the accidental destruction that it causes. To here. To here. To here. That this area is going to become a 5x5 five five hole, where before we had a 3x3 three three hole. So in this, in this little gap, I need to be able to fit at least three down water drops. And that's probably going to be straight falls with water breaks. And a straight fall with water break won't work by itself. These floors are five blocks tall. And if you have a water supported over here, no matter what you do, you're going to be falling five or six blocks down. So I'm going to have to come up with some way to land in water. And if we're landing in water, it ultimately is going to have some form of water inside inside slabs 
and you're going to have to land in the slab and then walk your way out. There is no other way, no matter what I do, to put a break in the roof. You're going to fall far enough to take damage. So we either have to have a low wall, which is going to break up the whole large open space area, or we're going to have to have some type of water break. So that's the first thing that needs to be dealt with. The second thing, and what I need to figure out first and foremost, is whether or not boats are stable enough to use for this type of activity. And I'm being very careful about how I take things out here in creative mode. I'm in creative because I need flight for this. If you have a ladder, it, although it looks like it's absolutely tiny, doesn't take up much space, it actually takes up the whole block and the boat does not fall down. However, it turns out we're running into another issue which I was not aware of. A minecart falls down that hole. If I put a minecart on top of that block, duh, duh, duh. If I put a track down and a minecart on top of the track, I can then break the block and the minecart lands in there. The minecart is held up by the ladder. That technique works with minecarts. It does not work with boats in 132. I was not aware of that. So that pretty much means that it has to be minecarts. Because a boat, a minecart in this position is going to be held in place. It's not going to move. A boat will move. So the boats will not be stable, the minecarts will be stable. So that's the first question that has to be addressed. So the minecarts, it has to be a minecart elevator, it cannot be a boat elevator. And I don't feel like making a ride a boat up the water type of elevator, and besides it will be too slow. Now the next thing is just what the spacing is. In particular, can the boats be spaced every five spaces or every four spaces? So the boats started here and came down here. One, two, three, four. And I'm sorry, I said boat. I meant minecart. The basic idea here is You're going to be underneath, and you're just going to use the um, use command, right click by default to hop into one minecart. Then while sitting in that minecart, you're going to be aiming at the next minecart and just pop your way up. The first question is, can you manage a three block gap? So I take it out of creative mode because your reach distance is not the same in creative and it has to be tested. So, yes. I don't know if you saw that or not. The other thing is need some sort of exit or you'll just fall down as you come out, something which I did not realize. So we know that a three block gap works. The question now is does a four block gap work?
Alright, so this is probably the last thing I need to test out. So I can touch the ladder, but not the next block. All right. So that pretty much answers that last question. A gap of one, two, three, four blocks between minecarts is too much. So the proper spacing is three. Boats will not work for the stair for the flooring, but they will work for the exit. They have the problem which I am going to need to seriously consider. That you can rock into them and nudge them. So they're not going to be reliable. So I'm going to have to I'm going to have to lock a minecart in place, even for the top. All right. So there's one last thing that I want to check. Oh, well, actually, that's probably a good place to test it. Will a single ladder completely slow you down? Yes. So a single ladder completely stops a fall just as effectively as a water break. I might even be able to make it, I might be able to hide. I might be able to hide a ladder. Ouch. <laughs> that did not work. All right. And welcome, everybody. So I'm just picking up all of my fall and drops. So, what exactly happened? I fell through this block with enough speed to be a complete death. So let's see if we can figure out why. And if it's something that is a real issue or if simply having touched the ground here will fix it. No. So the ladder is not successful. Eep. 
Okay. Once again, I am picking up my stuff. Once again, I am wondering why it did not work. But this time, I think I have the answer. So the working hypothesis Either I hit here, which is possible, or being on this side of the block as opposed to this side. On this side, It does not stop me. That is actually easy enough to test. From this high up, I should take some damage if it does not work. And I paused. Now from this point, hmm, I'm not falling onto the ladder, I'm stopped on the ladder. All right, so that's exceedingly clear. Come back one more time. That last time, and I can double check the recording, probably will, but what happened was I had found a position where I definitely stopped on the way down. If I turn off flight and fall, and I definitely hit that ladder. So I'm definitely falling. So it looks like in some cases you can fall through that ladder. And then put a water block here. So we now have a water block and a ladder block. And that works. So a single ladder block does not always stop you. Water block, ladder block does, but that gives you a the height of three below that. So it looks like no matter what I do, if I'm going to have the five high room floors that Alex designed, I'm going to have to have water on the ground with half slabs for you to walk out of it. So that is going to be the basic design for the floor landings and it has to be mine carts for the elevator and they can be spaced 
double checking every four blocks for the minecart, I believe is what we've determined. Right, three, three, and three gaps between the minecarts, or the minecarts every four blocks. Has to be minecarts, and the drop down has to be a water break because the ladder by itself is not sufficient. All right, so I am done with the uh, creative mode test. And the next time I see you, I will be on the main server, and I will be building this. So, welcome everybody. And for give you a status update on what is going on, this is the main world. It is now on 132, and this is actually 132 vanilla, just to let you know. I've been doing some work over here, and I decided to make sure I had plenty of food. To give you an idea of what currently is going on, the staircase has been ripped out, and I was actually trying to put the um, put the uh, minecart ladder in, and I had a little trouble trying to get it in at first. So I wound up having to just fill in the entire um, staircase area just so that I could dig out what the minecart was going to look like. And just to show you how it works, you aim up. Come over here and get out that way. Now it's got a little problem. This, this was, as I said, the first implementation, the first dig. And this over here is a block or two. I can't have the minecart on the top as much as I thought I could because it's too easy for it to move around. So it's got to be inside a little, um, inside a little cubby hole for, for it to not maneuver. And this, this minecart is actually on a track that goes sideways, so it can't move. There's a ladder over here, and I'm actually standing on the edge of the ladder. If I step off to the side, I fall down. But because there's ladders everywhere, my speed never gets so fast that I get into trouble. This first block over here that goes all the way up is what used to be the center of the staircase. It used to be an empty column that we were going up and down around. It's now a solid column that is going to have minecarts and ladders along the side. This over here, which is holding in that first minecart, I'm going to redo this so it's one block higher, and I will probably make these three glass instead of stone brick just so that there's a little room for your head, and I think glass will look nicer. And if you hold down the Use button, you head all the way up. There was going to be a total of four of these, one on each side. One is going to go between floor one and two, which is this one. One is going to go between floors one and three. One is going to go between one and four. And that's three of the four sides. By using all four sides, I can actually get um, lad um, out ladders and elevators going between any two floors, as well as the attic and the, um, the abandoned mine shaft at the bottom. So all told, we're going to have ladders going up and down everywhere with no more staircase to wind and walk. Everything is passive. There's no redstone. There's no pistons. There's no buttons. So it will, in theory, be able to handle all four of us going up and down at the same time, and nobody will run into anybody else. And nobody has to worry about people pressing the wrong buttons. Basically, things are going to look, going to work nicely. Now, lighting is going to be a bit of an issue. I've taken, I've had to remove a bunch of glowstone to make this work. I've gotten a few torches down as placeholders while I get things going, but we're going to get that taken care of. And I'm going to talk to Alex about putting 
a metal grate or something in front of that fire. I don't like having exposed fire. Call me paranoid. But anyways, so as I said, this is going to wind up being one floor higher. This will be glass. And if you just plop over one, top, one layer at a time, you can walk up slowly. So yeah, that's how, that's how it's going to turn out. One more time, hopefully no more interruptions from my dogs. So yeah, as I was saying, by the time you get through with all the iron needed for the mine carts, and the fact that we have four columns of these things, I'm going to need to go and do some more caving to get some more iron. And we, haven't, we don't have enough iron collected at the moment. The idea of this, I know that in the first half when I was playing around on the creative, we were looking at talking about separate vertical columns for the up and down with um, ladder breaks on the down. The problem with ladder breaks on the down is that no matter what you do, ladders have a hitbox. You can stand on top of them. That means you can run into them on the way down. That means you're going to have to deal with water breaks. The only way to avoid having water breaks and having water flooding out is to make, simply make sure that you never have a chance to go too fast. So if you're never going too fast, you never have a problem. And this actually works well. So any thank you for watching and you've now seen what's happening with our staircase project. Mushrooms grow pretty darn fast. A lot faster than I thought they would. I've actually been eating a little bit, but they're growing a lot faster than I'm eating. So yeah, it looks like mushrooms are going to be the only food source we're going to be worrying about from now on. All right, so thank you and that's all for tonight.